I space um, could space. A dog has always known I could. Oops, I accidentally hit the period. But anyway, there's a sentence. Okay, this white space here um, is where your typing will show up, and then this is still your message window at the top. So we have a few options here. We can clear this space. See the clear button. So I'm going to hit clear, and now it's gone. Okay. So I've typed a sentence. My day is finished. My day is finished. If I want it to go up in the window display, all I have to do is hit over here, insert. There it is. Oops. And it will put the it will put the sentence plus the pictures. And I accidentally hit it twice, so that's why we have it twice. But it will go into the message display and you will have the pictures to go with it. Okay. I'm going to clear that. Okay. Or I could leave it here and I could just hit speak. My day is finished. And it will say whatever I want it to say. Okay. So here's our views if we want to change view. This is clear if I want to clear the white space. Insert. We'll put it up in the message bar. And speak. My day is finished. Speak. We'll speak it here. And then. My day is finished. If I tap up there, it will speak it also. All right. So let's go back. And we're going to go back to grid view and look at some other options. Um, this is a keyboard. Now, the last keyboard we looked at in the view section was in a typical typing QWERTY. This one is alphabetical order, but it will recognize words. So, H, I, okay, space, I. So, even though it typed H and I separately, it does recognize that as a word and it will say it. And you have a folder with punctuation. punctuation. If you need, and you can always hit more, more to see what's on the next page. Back. I'm going to go again up here, back to my keyboard. I have numbers. I have upper, uh, excuse me, keyboard, uppercase. Uppercase. Okay, uppercase letters if I need those. So that's all with this keyboard icon right here. Right. So let's go back to our grid page. Oops. I don't want to. Um, I'm sorry. I have to go back to our home page. There we go. Now, this is um, where we will um, edit the pen, and we're going to do this in just a minute, but I will show you what it looks like. There's a place where you can add a regular button, you can add an action, you can add a folder, we can copy and paste, we can delete, we can swap buttons, and then I'm going to explain this. We have primary, secondary pages, and storage pages. And these also relate to these numbers up in the corner here. Okay. And then we have options. And again, we're going to look at those in just a minute. I am in student one. So student one is their default. And again, you'll I'll show you in just a minute, but these are the core words, six by six grid. It's a very large vocabulary. I set up student two with their basic communication view. Let me go to the home button. And you'll see it's it's four by four instead of six by six. Okay. It's smaller. Usually less buttons. It's a smaller vocabulary. Okay, and a little easier. I want blocks. So a little bit easier to navigate. So for a lower level student, this might be a good place to start. Or you could um, personalize this. We can customize it. We can take some, some buttons out and add our own. But I think next, what I want to show you is actually how to make your own student. And I think once we do that, it'll make um, using ProLoco a lot easier. So we're going to go over here to the Options button. And I'm going to tap. And right now I have student one, two, and three, and I'm going to go add a user, and the name is going to be student four, okay? Now I'm pressing the next one, and I'm going to have this as default. If I wanted it to be 
um, a copy of student two, that smaller vocabulary, but I still wanted to edit it some, I could make this a copy of student two. And then student three is another one I, I did, and I'll show you later. So if you have made a communication, some pages for a student, and you like that, you could always copy it for the new student instead of remaking it. But we're going to practice making our own. Now when you go to vocabulary, okay, core word, that is the first one I showed you. That's a six by six grid, very, very large vocabulary. Basic communication is the one you're looking at now. And it's a four by four and a, a lot less. 